An anguished mom is pleading for the public's help to solve the murder of her son, killed in a shooting on the campus of Chief South International High School. Fox 13's Brisa Mendez spoke to her about her loss, and she joins us live from the newsroom with more. Brisa, how is she doing? Seattle homicide detectives are continuing to investigate this April 7th shooting of Kadon Brown while the mother is heartbroken and devastated, but it's still unclear what led up to his death or who the suspect could be. And I miss my son very much. I just want justice for my baby, for real. Kadan's mother should have been celebrating her son's 21st birthday this weekend. Instead, she's planning his funeral. It's heartbreaking. I'm still going through because it's unbelievable for someone to come and knock on your door and for them to tell you that your son is gone. And then my son was shot and left over here overnight. She last saw him on the day of the shooting. She says he'd just come home from hanging out at a local community center and getting a fresh haircut. That's how she remembers him. It's hard for me and for other parents that have lost their kids to gun violence and something really needs to be done about this. Brooks says her son loved football, playing the PlayStation and the Xbox. He graduated from Denny Middle School and Chief South International High School. He had lots of friends. Mind his own business, didn't do no gang violence or none of that. And for this to happen to him, I really, truly do not understand at all. Who would want to hate my son this much to kill him? And I'm trusting in God that he will prevail and somebody will be brought to justice. I don't know who did it, but whoever did it, they need to turn their stuff in. If you have any information, you are asked to contact SPD Violent Crimes Tip Line from the newsroom. Bruce Mendez, Fox 13 News. Welcome to the mean streets of Seattle, where violence and crime are on the rise. In 2022, violent crime reached a 15-year high, with 739 verified criminal shootings and shots fired citywide. And while West Seattle may seem like a safe haven, shooting deaths are still a reality. The shooting death of Kadon Michael Brown is just one example. Kadon was a young man with a bright future ahead of him. He loved music, video games, and basketball and often played at the Southwest Athletic Complex on Thistle Street. He was a straight-A student with a talent for making beats and writing his own lyrics. But on the evening of April 7, 2023, Kadon's life was cut tragically short. Kadon had gone to the SWAC that night to play some video games and basketball. His mother, Maxine Brooks, received a call from him at 10.44 p.m. but was unable to answer. When she called back a few minutes later, he didn't answer. Calls to 911 reported shots fired in the area between 10.30 and 11 p.m. But Kadon never made it home. Around 8.30 a.m. the next morning, a person walking their dog on Thistle Street saw Kadon's body, face down on the grass in the southwest part of the Chief South International High School campus, near the parking lot. He had been shot multiple times, and his death was pronounced a homicide. The investigation into Kadon's death is ongoing, but thus far the police have been silent. Maxine is left with nothing but questions and a deep desire for justice for her son. Statistics show that the majority of murders in the U.S. remain unsolved, and in Washington, from 1965 to 2019, 28% of murders are currently unsolved. In 2022, Seattle saw 60 new homicide investigations, with 52 meeting the FBI's definition of criminal homicide. But with a 19% increase in criminal shootings and shots fired compared to the previous year, the situation is far from improving. The streets of Seattle can be a dangerous place, with violence and crime taking innocent lives every day. Caught on Michael Brown's death is just one example of this harsh reality. As we continue to grapple with the rise in violent crime, let us remember Caught on and all the other victims of senseless violence. Also, let's come together as a community to honor his memory and work towards promoting peace, justice, and equality for all. Rest in peace. Caught on Michael Brown.